All right, what is going on, dude? It's your boy, Deuce Ham Chicks here, and welcome to the $1,350 build for Gen 2016. This is a great gaming PC. You can play any game you want, ultra settings, over 60 FPS at 1080p, and is even capable of playing 4K games. Great computer. All right, so for the CPU, we are starting off with the i5. 46 nanok from Intel. This is, is going to run you about $242. It's a great quad core CPU. Out of the box, it's 3.5 gigahertz, but it is overclockable due to that K at the end there. And we have a great CPU cooler to make it very over overclockable. It's also great for gaming, very capable, and it's also very capable for uh, doing video editing and any sort of editing you want with programs such as Sony Vegas and Photoshop. It's a great bang for your broke with You're saving uh, over a little hundred dollars from not getting an i7 and getting a great 4 k quad core i7 is great for editing but for gaming and this is still capable of editing it's a great bang for your buck all right for the cpu cooler we're using the corsair hdi gt this is going to run you about 87 dollars it's corsair's new series of cpu coolers new lineup that's what the gt stands for it's a closed loop water cooling system it's great to overclock your cpu and keep it very cool you can probably overclock the cpu to about 4.4 gigahertz it's a very stable overclock right there very stable gigahertz and it'll give you a good uh, performance boost. Uh, for the motherboard today, I'm using the ASUS Z97-A slash USB 3.1. This is going to run you $150. has everything we need for the build. All the PCIe lanes is compatible with the RAM and CPU. It's a full, full ATX motherboard. It uses the Z97 chipset and uses LGA 1150. And it comes with Crystal Sound 2 uh, audio, so you get great audio with the gaming and anything else you need. It has USB 3.1 speed for up to 10 gigabits per second on the USB side. It's Got three PCIe lanes for SLI and future upgrades if you're able to upgrade to two graphics cards or three graphics cards even. It's a great motherboard right there. And for the memory today slash RAM, we're using the Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabytes. And this is plenty of good solid RAM. Great RAM, 1600 megahertz. We're running at. It's more than enough for gaming. It's also great for editing. 16 gigs you can use for editing. It's red, so it goes along with the red theme we're running today. It's a great price. 16 gigabytes for $80 steel. Great price right there. All right, for storage, we're using two storage devices. So I'll start off with the SSD, which is the Samsung 850 Evo 250 gigabytes. This is going to run you $85. It's super fast. It's a blazing fast SSD. Very popular, very highly rated. It'll be... In the SSD, you probably have the operating system, most likely Windows 10 or whatever you want to run. You can put programs in there so everything boots up fast and a few games such as CSGO, maybe GTA or Fallout in there. You know, you can put a few games in there, 250 gigs, it's still got a uh, good space of room. And it's, it'll make your computer start up very quickly and fast. Alright, for the other storage device, for the hard drive, we're using the mechanical hard drive. You, we are using the Weston Digital Caviar Blue 1TB. This is going to run you $55. It's very fast, reliable, it's a great hard drive. Plenty of memory for extra games, photos, videos, and whatever else you want. Just, you know, solid, standard, reliable hard drive. It's a good pickup right there. Uh, for the video card, we're using the ASUS GeForce GTX 980 4GB. This thing is an absolute monster. It'll get you plenty of video memory there, 4 gigs for all the new games. We'll get you great FPS in any game. You can play any game, ultra settings, over 60 FPS, probably 100 FPS over that. I mean, this is a killer card right here at 1080p, and you can even play 4K with it. It's a great card. It also comes with the NVIDIA GeForce Experience and Shadowplay for almost non-noticeable lag recording so it's great for recording to places such as YouTube like I'm doing right now that's another great pickup for the price $515 it's not like a freaking Titan which is a grand it's still expensive but in my opinion it's, it's a great card it's also very future proof so you know the performance out right now is top of its line it's a great card and you can do that in the future if you ever want to upgrade it to like almost double or even triple your performance if you get three cards and so yeah it's a great card great pickup Alright, for the power supply today, I'm using Corsair CX500, uh, si sorry, Corsair CX600M. This is a 600 watt power supply, it'll run you $65, plenty of power, and can do upgrades in the future. You can handle SLI, multiple graphics cards. It is modular, so you only use the cables you need. I mean, this is great for cable management in the case you were getting. It's also 80 plus gold, so it is very efficient, save you a few dollars in your electricity bill. Alright, for the case, we're using Corsair Spec-03. This is a um, $70 case. It's a mid-tower case. 
from Corsair. It comes with two fans, one of them with a red LED, so it'll really look swaggy and a uh, cool red color with the red theme going on. Great looking case. For great airflow too, you know, it comes with two fans. It's got great cable management, very solid and sturdy over a case, great case. It even has a window to show if you're a build, just sensitive build. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, $1,350 gaming PC of January 2015. Um, 2016, <laughs> my bad, still in the time zone. Other year, and that's uh, pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. See you next time. All right.